Well, hello young people. I'm Reverend Ashley, and I'm so excited that you've joined me. Welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading Squirrel's New Year's Resolution by Pat Miller, illustrated by Kathy Ember. Squirrel pinned up her brand new nut of the month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks, said Squirrel. What is a resolution? A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others, Bear said. When we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution? Asked Squirrel. I did, Bear answered. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought, as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making a resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, boo. Skunk giggled. Hide and Skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again, boo. And again, boo. By now, Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed toward the hidey hole diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing? asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole. But I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Wait here, said Squirrel. She dashed up an oak tree and looked down. She spied Wildcat Creek and on its bank, a perfect place for a garden. Squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Lunch, thought Squirrel, and she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He looked grumpy. What's wrong, asked Squirrel. I resolved to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more. But I can't think of anything funny. can help you think of something funny. Like, why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know why, asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed too. I get it. That reminds me. What's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off of the stool. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I'd better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. Squirrel felt left out. Porcupine has a resolution. So do Bear and Skunk and Mole and Turtle, she thought. 
I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Rabbit came to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? Asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch special and thought hard. Just then, Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden, said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for it, said Turtle. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said caw, caw? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said he was learning another language. All the animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a good job on your resolution. I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than words. It looks like you've resolved to help someone every day, said Rabbit. Really? asked Squirrel. I did it. I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. It was going to be a very happy new year. The end. What a great story. Have you made a resolution for the new year? In our story, Bear taught us that a resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others. Your resolution might be to read your Bible every day, to obey your parents more, to tell your friends about Jesus. Your resolution might even be to be just like Squirrel and help others. When we make resolutions, we should plan to work on the things we've promised to do each and every day. Keeping our resolutions can be hard, but with God's help, we can do it. And the best news is that it's never too late to make one. So, what can you plan on doing better this year? How can you help others? When you're ready, write down your resolution and ask a parent to help you hang it or post it somewhere in your house as a reminder of your promise all year long. Thanks for joining me for story time. Until next time.